the recognition of an MHC1 protein bound to a peptide is not sufficient to activate a cytotoxic T cell so that it secretes perforins and destroys the cell. If it were autoimmune diseases where cytotoxic T cells attack body cells would be far more common. A second signal is required. The second signal typically comes from T helper cells as they recognize the cytotoxic T cells bound to an appropriate antigen and release local hormones known as cytokines. So the activation of the T helper cells by antigen presenting cells thus is significant in this. There are alternate ways of activating cytotoxic T cells um, but these alternate ways can also be enhanced by T helper cells. Thus, HIV infections are devastating because the loss of the T helper cells severely limits the ability of the cytotoxic T cells to act.